nigga. I'm here, nigga. Straight up. The DJ set over here. What's going on? Yo. 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 Y'all can't hear me? Yo. 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 Y'all can't hear me? I talk a lot of shit, nigga, because I can back it up. What up, niggas? Turn my shit all the way up. Yo. Let me tell y'all what's going on if you, you just got here. This is a certified lover boy stream. We been lit. We turned up. The whole industry is watching this stream. That's a fact. No disrespect. Actually, anybody on Twitch who, who also streaming certified lover boy, suck a dick. I'll give y'all I'll, I'll give y'all that disrespect. The whole industry watching this stream. Facts. Let me tell y'all this. Drake said he needed two more hours. I was waiting for it at midnight. I've been waiting for this shit for a long time. I thought it was going to come out January 1st. I was waiting. I asked that nigga Drake. I said, Drake, what's up? That nigga Odell Beckham said it's coming out January. What's up? He said, nah, that nigga got it wrong. What's up with that? I asked him again. He said, yo, I ain't going to lie, man. I, you know, I got a little injury and everything, man. I, I got some shit I want to do. I got videos to shoot, blah, blah. All right. But it all culminated to tonight. Somebody said, act by the cry. Nigga, I'm not no fake nigga. I've, been, I've cried on stream hearing music. I don't care what y'all niggas think. Hear what I'm trying to tell y'all. Drake dropping... At 2 a.m. I thought it was 12. I was ready. I was ready to shut the fuck up. But now that we got like an hour and a couple minutes, I could get back over there and DJ. Y'all want more songs? I could do it. Y'all want more songs? Drake got the most songs out of these bum ass niggas we listen to. All these other niggas dropping projects, Drake gave them a career. Meek Millie, could you drop a song without a feature, brother? You got Dirk, you got Uzi, you got Baby. When you gonna have yourself? You not Drake, though. You not Drake, I get it. I only fuck with the best. Y'all niggas standing these other artists, they not the best. They rely on features they scared to drop. Drake told y'all he dropping on the third. Meek won't even give y'all a release date. Kanye dropped early. Kendrick, he said he's smoking on top fives. Where is he at? What top five you smoking on, Kendrick? Because my top five is Drake, 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 Drake. You ain't doing a shit, nigga. You just talking a whole lot of shit for no fucking reason. I just want to know what all these niggas is talking about. Because Drake is all y'all niggas daddy. That's a fact. Tell me I'm wrong. Kanye, you dug that release date. Don't blame that shit on motherfucking Universal. Y'all both sounded Universal. You dug that shit. That nigga was about to embarrass you. Kendrick, what top five you smoking on, nigga? My top five is Drake, Aubrey, Drake, Aubrey Graham, Drake, Drake, and the nigga from the grassy. What are you talking about? Who are you smoking on? Because if you smoking on my favorite rapper, I'm pretty sure he'll violate you, but you won't say it. I don't want to hear it no more. Push your T, stop liking post. Please stop. You don't want to no smoke with Drake again. Oh, I get it. I'm like, oh, no, no, Drake didn't drop the. Push T respectfully. Your biggest part of your career was trying to go with the boy. Now you're over here liking any post that could try. No, it's over, brother. 
Why didn't you help Kanye get his album good? Maybe all them bars that said, mm, 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 you could have filled in them bars, brother. I'm giving y'all the facts. I'm giving y'all the facts, chat. What's all these niggas talking about? Kendrick, we're not impressed no more. You've never battled nobody in hip hop. Who you did, who did you battle? Who? Drake bat Drake at least won that motherfucking common. What's that other nigga name? Push your T, even if you say to L, he violated Meek. He violated some other niggas. Who is Kendrick? Go Kendrick, who is you going at, nigga? All that shit you smoking on what top five, nigga? What top five? What? Nigga, we don't hear that shit. Wait, who you smoking on? If you smoking on Drake, say it. But you won't say it. You gonna act like, oh my God, I'm just lyrical miracle. Fuck out of here, nigga. You been going for five years. That nigga been rolling us down for five consecutive years while you been gone. What's up? I don't want to hear no Kawhi Leonard ass nigga talk to LeBron. You play every three seasons. What are we doing? How the fuck you talking about Drake? You're not talking about Drake. You talking about your own demons, nigga. Get up out of the top. Get up out of what's that nigga name? Punching top dogs. Fucking like whatever they got going on before you could talk to the real nigga. Because I ain't never hear that nigga bitching about Birdman or Wayne. And he got a boss contract now. That's a fact. We universal. So what are you talking about? You're, all, you're writing letters. Oh, my God. I'm finally free. After five years of not putting out music? You don't want no smoke with Drake then. What's all these niggas talking about, chat? What's all these niggas talking about, chat? What are they talking about? I'm here to discuss hip hop. What are they talking about? How the fuck you smoking on top fives? You never battled no nigga in the industry. Who are you talking about? You drop control, niggas responding, you never talk back. Drake said, wait, is he talking to me? If he's talking to me, you need to talk up. You never responded. What are we doing? I don't care what y'all say about Drake. That nigga never been pussy. And we could sit here and we could say, you know what? Pusha T got him on the last one. But that nigga could have been like Kendrick and disappeared for 10 years, nigga. That nigga answered everybody who had some type of clout that the, that the people and the culture said. What about what he said, though? You smoking on top fives, Kendrick? Who? Who's Kendrick smoking on? You never did shit but control. Nigga, it's like we seen you run a 40-yard dash and we think you're going to take, take over the league, but we never seen you make the playoffs. What are you talking about? If you, if you really tried to smoke top fives, check niggas. You ain't never checked Drake. Check that nigga. You're doing this all over. Oh, my God. Bro, we ain't respect that no more, nigga. You've been going for 10 years, bro. We don't respect that. Check that nigga by name. If you think you this and third, check that nigga. Because that nigga been ready to check everybody else. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. I'm wrong? Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. I'm here with y'all. I'm wrong? How am I wrong? Kendrick ain't battle a motherfucking person, bro. I don't even like the nigga, but didn't Meek respond to one of the shit that Kendrick did? Did Kendrick respond back? No. Bro, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I don't want to hear no niggas named Kendrick and them other niggas with Drake, but I'm going to keep it a thousand with y'all. Y'all niggas had a chance and opportunity to go at him, battle with him, whatever y'all wanted, but y'all never did it. Y'all was doing some weird shit. 
Violate a nigga if you really want to do it, but don't do it on some cryptic shit. We don't get that. I see everybody in the building, man. Hey, still be dropping in an hour and 30 minutes. In an hour and 30 minutes. You heard me? I'll tell you what that means. Salute to Spotify. I'm plugged in over there. When you hear somebody like you're supposed to drop at 12 and they put it back two hours, that means Drake just submitted a last minute edit. It could be whatever. It could be him dissing somebody. It could be, uh, I don't know, him saying a word incorrectly and he's changing. It could be anything. We don't know. But he is dropping tonight. I'm just here to tell y'all that whatever y'all are talking about, these other artists that don't drop music, bro, I'm sick and tired of talking about them. I like Kendrick, but it don't take you five years to make a motherfucking thing, nigga. If if, 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 if Top Dog and them niggas was trying to keep you and hold you down on some slave shit in your contract, tell us. But it don't take you fucking five years to make no songs like, we gonna be all right. It don't take you five years to do that, nigga. That's why I can't put you on no league with a nigga who dropping every year. How the fuck you take, take you five years to do that? When a nigga dropping every couple of months, how does that work? How does that work? It took you five years to do that? It took you five years to make a song with Baby Keem talking about, I'm smoking on your top five. Nobody remembers any other line you said except I'm smoking on your top five. It took you five fucking years to put that out? Are you dumb? Five years? Am I stupid? Kendrick, I'll tell you this because I really believe this. You not in Drake's league. You, you in the league of Wale. Wale. Uh, um, 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 what's that other nigga name? J. Cole and them other niggas. Bro, imagine if LeBron said, yo, yeah, I only play every three seasons. We'd be like, yo, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Nigga, you're not, you're not, you're not consistent. I can't fuck with a nigga who's not consistent. You're not, why are you not consistent? It's taking you that long to make music? Okay, all right, great. So let me hear the music. So the profound thing in your music was you saying, I'm smoking on your top five. What are you smoking on? You're not smoking on OVO, nigga. You're not smoking on Drake. You don't want no problems with Drake. Drake will bore you the fuck up. I'm challenging you, nigga. Talk, talk to that nigga. Because that nigga be rapping all the time. You rap every one, one, one in five years. When we going to see that? I want to see it. I'm smoking on your top five. What are you talking about? My top five rapper or my favorite rapper put out a song or album every every year the last five years. Nigga, in my mind, Kendrick Lamar is retired, nigga. Put some music out, nigga. The fuck is you doing? It took you five years to put out a song that you're saying, I'm smoking on your top five. And even when you said it, you ain't had the balls to admit who the top five was. Which top five you smoking on? Mine? Because if you smoking on Aubrey Graham, say it. I guarantee you going to violate you. But you won't say it. So now I'm looking at you weird. I'm like, so you won't say the people you smoking on. Who you smoking on? Smoking on my top five? My top five is all Drake. You smoking on him? You not smoking on him. You know you won't. You won't say a fucking word, nigga. You won't say a fucking word. That's why I looked at Kendrick and for the whole time. Everybody's sucking him off. Kendrick is one of the greatest artists. I'll give you that. But everybody be acting like Kendrick is really that nice when it comes to like getting that niggas. I ain't seen Kendrick in one fight yet. I ain't seen him battle one nigga yet. I ain't seen him win no battles. 
Y'all can say Drake lost the bell, but I seen one three others. When Kendrick gonna hop in the ring? What are we doing? What are we doing, Kendrick? You smoking on, on top five? Well, my top five kill Meek. Meek and his feelings. Meek been, been punching in the air ever since he killed that nigga. What are you gonna try to get that nigga out of here? When you do that, you will cement your spot above that nigga. But until you do that and you scared to do it because you won't mention his name and you sending shots for that nigga. Until you do that, we looking at you like, bro, that shit old nigga. That nigga been waiting for you to call it out. That nigga, even when you dropped your control verse, he basically called you pussy. You know what he said to you? He said, that nigga said my name in a song, but he don't want to really rap. How the fuck you say niggas' names and you don't want to rap with them? Are you trying to smoke on my top five or are you just trying to mention them for clout? The point I'm trying to say is that Kendrick won't mention my favorite rapper because he knows what, what, what will be the result. That's a fact, bro. I'm telling you the truth, bro. What, what y'all niggas say? You smoking a who top five, nigga? Who the fuck is in the top five but Drake? Respect, respect to Cole, but like Cole not even built like that. Drake don't even. Drake will never be for them. Nigga, when you say you smoking on top five, nigga, you trying you smoking on Drake? You don't want to smoke on Drake. No, you don't. You not Kendrick. Drake will eat you up in a battle, my nigga. I'm telling you this is a fact. Kendrick, Drake will eat you up in a battle. You are not battle tested. You one of them lyrical miracle, all that type of bullshit. But you ain't never really put those bars on the line when the stakes is high. When you do that. And you violate a nigga, whether it's Drake or somebody else, I give you the credit. But right now, nigga, you just talking shit. I'm like, you smoking a who top five? Nigga, Drake been making better music than for the last five years. Drake been Drake will out rap you. This him. He'll rap he'll rap you. I'm just hey, listen, I see people saying yo, I all I'm trying to say is we not finna give Kendrick Lamar no motherfucking props unless he don't. You're not smoking on nobody's top five. Kendrick, you've been going a long time. So let me update you. Our top five. You might not even be in it. You know, my top five, Drake, 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 Aubrey and Aubrey Graham. You're not even in it, nigga. So don't talk to my smoking on nobody's top five. Drake will smoke the shit out of you, nigga. Put your little album out. We gonna be all right, do all that bullshit, but you don't fuck with Aubrey Graham. That's a fact. And if you thought you could, you wouldn't be sitting here waiting for Drake to. Drake been dissing every. Y'all can say whatever about Drake. Drake had like ten beefs. Kendrick ain't had one. Drake is going at everybody. Kid Cudi, Kanye. Meat Mill. Who else wanted? He, he went at Hope. He went at everybody. We can't tell a fucking soul who the fuck that Kendrick Lamar went at. Kendrick, who are you dissing? Who? Drake don't care. You clearly care because you're not really dissing the niggas we want to hear. Kendrick, the day you diss Drake, the day will put you on. Will actually put you on. Uh, 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 your your career will be put on trial. Let's really see how great you are. Because it's great to say when you were talking about you smoking on this. It's like me saying I'm smoking on my ops and people saying, act, you don't got no ops. And I'm like, huh? Nigga, what are you talking about? Nigga, I'm telling you the truth. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Drake ain't duck one battle yet. Name a battle that Drake duck. Name it. Y'all can't. Kendrick was talking about y'all niggas sharing bars like the, like, like the bottom and the top bunk, whatever. Nigga, don't say that shit. Talk to Drake, nigga. He was ready to bar you up. You never did it. What are you doing? What you doing?
So y'all niggas don't. Oh, uh, I'm looking at my chat. They don't want to talk about um, Kendrick no more. They're like Pusher. What about Pusher T though? What about Pusher T? The fuck about Pusher T, nigga? Cause Drake spirit Pusha T, or not really he's Pusha T, but he spirit Kanye. Nigga, he spirit. Listen, listen. Like I don't care what y'all say. Drake had a better this song than Pusha T. Granted, Pusha T revealed some shit, but let's just fucking be honest, man. This nigga Pusha T was really not saying shit. I don't get what y'all trying to say. Y'all tell me what y'all trying to say. I'm trying to get it. Real, real talk. You think I'm just like, you sound Ryan Dick when it comes to Drake? To, my nigga, I'm really not. I'm keeping it 100. These niggas are not that talented. Yo, I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. Yo, Pusha T, I'm going to give you the nod because you exposed that sh that homie had a kid. Yo, Pusha T, go back go back and forth with Drake lyrically. This ain't, what's that shit called? This ain't Maury or Jerry Springer. Nigga, you rap bar for bar for Dr with Drake. And I'm going to be honest with you, I think Drake kills him. My nigga Drake really violated all them niggas, but I ain't gonna lie, them niggas exposed Drake. And Drake couldn't do nothing about it. That's a fact. Push your teeth and body nobody. Who? Who? If y'all really sit here and try to tell me that Pusha T told my the story of Adonis was hotter than Drake, who dropped Duppy Freestyle, y'all got it, bro. Y'all got it. I ain't, I ain't here to beef with everybody about everything. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Niggas tell me that Bobby Schmurda dropped. Yo, with all due respect to Bobby Schmurda, nigga, tonight's Drake night. I don't want to hear no other rapper until Drake drop. Y'all niggas should have moved y'all album back, cancel the release. I don't care who it is. It could even, I don't care who it is. I'm telling y'all, I don't care who it is. If your name is not Aubrey Graham, I don't want to hear your music. You could have dropped last week, last year, tonight, tomorrow. I don't want to hear your music. Aubrey fucking Graham is the only artist that I care about tonight, tomorrow, and for the next the next week. I don't care what you're saying. Bobby Smurda, you had two fucking years basically to drop a record. Don't drop when Drake is dropping. I'm sorry. Your record is pushback. I don't want to hear that shit now. We've been telling you to drop for years. Now you're going to drop when Drake drop? I'm sorry. You a hood nigga. You a real nigga. Whatever the fuck you want to say. But you not Aubrey fucking Graham. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Oh, my God. We just had Bobby Schmurder drop. Why? Wait, why did he drop? Were y'all fucking stupid? Are y'all fucking stupid? I'm just not going to take no more disrespect, man. Y'all disrespecting too much. This is getting out of hand. Look at the people y'all are like trying to disrespect the boy for. Hey. I don't think y'all get it. Y'all don't get it? Let me make it even crystal clearer. Because I, I guess y'all really don't understand. I'm a music nigga. Tonight is Drake's night. 
I don't want to hear from nobody. If 6 9 has a record, tell them to keep that shit. Kendrick got a record, keep that shit. I don't give a fuck who it is. Drake is dropping. We don't give a fuck by them other niggas. I don't care who you tell me. Drake is dropping tonight. Tell the rest of them niggas to eat that bullshit they think they're about, they're about to drop or don't drop at all. You think I'm I'm stupid enough to listen to a 6-9 a, a, a track over Drake? You think I'm stupid enough to listen to a anybody's track over Drake? It's Drake, you fucking idiots! Nigga said Kendrick Body the Cypher. Nigga, are, are we back in time? We don't give a fuck about that. Kendrick, you're rapping five years. I'm just trying to tell y'all the facts. I don't care what artist y'all tell me. Except Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel, let's go. What's up? Anybody else? Come on now, stop playing. Stop fucking playing. I feel offended. I feel offended. Chat. Chat. I feel so offended. Y'all are telling me to play mid music by niggas who ain't really built like that. They're not even in this fucking ecosphere. They couldn't even fucking hold this nigga's sneakers. And y'all want to tell me to listen to these bum ass niggas instead of the glorious, the amazing, the fucking heaven sent music by a nigga that would make songs like this. Where my shit at? Where my shit at? Don't you ever mention one of these mid-ass artists. And I don't care who you mention. Whoever you mention is mid. They're not Drake. They're mid. They're fucking mid. They will never be this nigga. Because they will never drop a track like this. Yeah. Sorry, brother. You drop four features in two weeks. We don't want to hear you, nigga. We want to hear you. If I'm down and back. Never, ever, ever have songs like this, you bum. Previously on Ready to Die. Are y'all fucking kidding me? All the waste, man. Meek Mills, stop waiting for 20 niggas to give you a feature to drop an album. Drake ain't drop a single before he drop his shit, nigga. Or you gonna drop a song with you and Uzi? Oh, we like Uzi. We don't like you. We like Uzi. Okay, cool. That ain't, uh oh, you gonna drop a song with you, Dirk and Baby? What about dropping a song with you, nigga? Why not? You know the vibes. We don't fuck with you. We don't fuck with you, nigga. We don't fuck with you, nigga. Huh? You know why? Because my favorite rapper, my favorite rapper don't need another nigga to fucking make his song go lit. You know what he do? He get on a song and he do it himself. He do it like this. Never care until it's how much you want to bet until you get a Drake or Roddy Rich feature? And there's three more, three more names in mind. You ain't dropping your album, nigga. You can't drop a out. You can't drop a single without a feature. How little you, nigga? You talking all that big shit, nigga? You talking all that gang shit? What's, what's up with you? You all see Drake talking about oh me get on my album. He put out a fucking, he put out a fucking. Billboard in every city for every nigga who on his album. He ain't put out one in Philly, nigga. He been giving you stimulus packages since whopping kill Philip, nigga. He don't need you. You a nigga who ain't lit no more. You a 35-year-old nigga trying to rap like you 17. You don't fuck with me, so don't expect no type of... 
You don't like me. I don't like you neither. Any nigga don't like me. I don't like. Remember, remember I said that. If you don't like me, I don't like you. I don't need no reason to fuck with you. I make a lot without you. Meek, every record you put out with 20 features, I'm going to clown the shit out of you because you can't get niggas to fuck with you by yourself. My favorite rapper, you know how my favorite rapper pop out, nigga? Remember this. Previous niggas turn their back on me for no good reason. Loyalty's prices had a lot. This is all I Dirk is the hottest. You cold. Why you gonna put out a song by yourself? Loyalty's prices. You see, you and the rest of y'all niggas, let me tell y'all this. Y'all thought y'all could. Uh, let me just pause all this. All y'all niggas thought y'all could bully me. None of y'all niggas could bully me. Meek, you can't bully me. My song, y'all can't bully, can't bully me. I'm gonna set a narrative when it comes to y'all niggas. Meek. You a bum ass rapper, nigga. You can't drop shit without a feature, nigga. That's a fact. I watch everything you drop. Anytime you drop by yourself, niggas don't fuck with it. You not rapping the same. You washed up. What's that nigga name? What's that? I, I forgot his bum ass. What's that name? My son, you been washed up. And my son, don't tell me, don't talk about you, nigga. You been pressing on me and trying to talk about me for the longest time. My son, this is where I'm at with you. Do something, nigga. You a bum ass nigga. And if I had a problem with you, I have way more money than anybody you ever know. I would get some done to you. I don't care about you. So don't stop playing with me. My son, I don't care about you, nigga. But you you think you could bully me. You can't bully me. So when I respond and I, and I actually talk up for myself, you're like, oh, act. Why are you talking to me like that? Nigga, y'all niggas make millions. I make, I make a lot of millions too. You think I'm about to be scared of you? My son, you a bum. My son, everything about you is a bum. You can never scare me, nigga. I don't know what about me made y'all think that your academics is going to always cow down. My son, until you stop me, I will never stop violating you. You told me I should leave you alone. You never left me alone for the last year, nigga. Suck a dick. Facts. I never ever spoke on you. You talking about me trying to stop what I got going on? My son, you a bum ass nigga who's an ambulance chaser. Remember, I told you this. Don't talk about all you barely a man. My son, I'm giving you more disrespect. Fuck you, nigga. Don't talk about me because you can't stop nothing over here. Back to Meek Mill. Meek Mill, you can't stop nothing over here, nigga. Don't tell me you know where I live this at third. Nigga, I know where you live at. You not doing a motherfucking thing. Y'all niggas trying to bully niggas. You not going to bully me. So everybody trying to bully me. I'm telling all y'all suck a dick right now. Because right now we're going to see who actually is about to do something. I don't have no problems with y'all. But y'all acting like I can bully. Y'all ain't going to talk like that. Yo, my son. I got a headquarters in Jersey City. 888 Newark Avenue. Jersey City. Pull up there. I'm there every day. You're not going to pull up there, nigga. Stop it. Meek Mill, you can pull up there. You're not going to pull up there. Stop it. All y'all niggas, stop it. Y'all not going to sit here and think y'all bully me in any type of way. My son, you a bum-ass nigga, and I'm going to say that forever. And Meek Mill, I got nothing to say to you because you threatened my life. I really got nothing. Hey, if it's, if it's green light like you say it is, we're going to see what it is. But I don't fuck with that nigga neither. And that's a fact. I'm going to get back to my drink shit. Both of them niggas, I don't know if they thought it was bullying niggas. But Meek, fuck you. The other nigga, fuck you. Both of y'all, I'm going to keep it just like that. Because none of y'all ever going to bully me in this shit after all the shit I worked for. Never in life. Okay? Let's keep it just like that. All right? My son, if you got a problem, I'm there every day. I want you to pull up, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. I don't got time for you, nigga. Ain't nobody all this going outside shit, nigga. I'm telling you where my headquarters at. That's a fact. I'm going to be there tomorrow. You ain't going to do shit, nigga. Like, I hate when y'all niggas act like y'all some, like, pariahs. Y'all not pariahs in this shit, nigga. Most of y'all be running by, behind niggas who you be getting paid by. Like, stop playing, nigga. I don't know why y'all think y'all gangsters like that. I give, I say it again. 888 New York Avenue, Mannequin Temporary, Jersey City, New Jersey. That's where my headquarters at. I'm going to shoot every episode of motherfucking 
Um, uh, what's my podcast called? Um, off the record. You could pull up, but you won't pull up, nigga. You gonna sit there and just make up excuses? Oh, I got police. You got shut the fuck up. And I'm gonna tell all of y'all, Meek, all of y'all. I'm not scared of none of you niggas. Meek, any money you got, I got. That's a fact. Meek, you said you were about to go broke when you got locked up, nigga. You said you was down to your last million, nigga. Like, that's pathetic. What the fuck you been spending money on? What the fuck you really been spending money on? I don't got to talk about my son. My son's a bum-ass nigga. That's a fact. My son, I just told you where I'm at. I'm not, good. I'm, coming, I'm not coming to your hood. I work. I go to my job, this and third. I'm telling you where I do business at. Stop all that other bullshit, my nigga. All y'all. Straight up. Meek and my son, stop, stop acting like y'all about to do something. Like, I'm tired of people hitting me up acting like, yo, I'm scared of y'all. Yeah, I am not scared of Meek Mill. Meek said he been know my address. He ain't did a motherfucking thing. That's a bitch nigga move. You've been talking everywhere else, but you ain't doing a motherfucking thing. And then we talking about my son. My son just gave you my hope. This, by the way, you could come for an interview. You could come for whatever you want. You ain't doing a motherfucking thing, nigga. That's a fact. So I just want all y'all niggas to be just rap, just talking and rap, like, just stop it, man. Just stop it. I'm, I'm here doing work, but like y'all keep acting like niggas is trying to be on some street shit, or whatever. But I'm telling y'all also, nigga, I have a public address. I don't. What if you want to be on some street shit or whatever? Come to my public address. I'm gonna know how to handle it. But y'all niggas ain't gonna do it. You gonna make mad excuses. My son, stop fucking talking about me, nigga. You a bum-ass, broke nigga. I talked to Vlad. He used to pay your fucking rent, you bum-ass nigga. Stop talking about me. You told me I should leave you alone. Stop talking about me, period. You a bum. That's a fact. And I talk to you like this because, nigga, because that's what it is. I told you where I'm at. It shouldn't be like, oh, he's hiding. I'm not hiding if I just told you where I'm at. I'm not hiding. I'm going to be there tomorrow because I have my internet being installed there. I had I, I paid $100,000 for a big ass set to be there. Nigga, I am not hiding. You tell me why you ain't do some shit afterwards. I'm tired of you niggas, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. I'm telling y'all exactly 888 Newark Avenue, Mana Contemporary. That's where I'm at. That is where my headquarters is at. My son, Meek Mill, all of you niggas, don't ever mention my name if you're not there Posting a video told my where is this bitch ass thing academics? That's it. I'm tired of you niggas. Because you niggas is straight bitches. My son, you a fucking hoe when you never answered that nigga whack 100 for 200 days. But you got sauce for me. Meek Mill, you got punked by 6ix9ine, but you got all the energy for me. I'm telling you, 888 Newark Avenue, Jersey City, Man of Contemporary. I am there every day. At off the Record Podcast is going to be there. And everybody tell me CLB dropped. If them bitch ass niggas don't, don't pull up there, when they say, oh, I can scare you, don't come outside, I ain't gonna never be in your hood, you dumb ass nigga. Meek, you fucking bozo. You really don't really be in no Philly hood, nigga. You be acting like you be being in no hood. You don't be in no hood, nigga. I'm telling you where I'm gonna be at, though. So if you really got a problem with me, don't call me out on the internet no more. I'm telling Meek right now, if you got a problem with me, don't call me out on the internet. Show up to my workplace. Show up to where you know I'm going to be at. Same with my song. All y'all show up to where I'm going to be at. Because I know how to handle y'all niggas when y'all show up there. But y'all won't. Y'all going to sit here and just keep making excuses. Act don't come outside, nigga. I go to work every fucking day. Let's get on to CLB, all right? Meek, you heard what I said. You a bitch for talking about I'm greenlit, but you ain't did shit. You said you had my address and I've been here waiting. We've been on surveillance waiting for your ass. You ain't did shit. I gave you my new workplace. You ain't go, you ain't gonna do shit. And then that bitch ass nigga, what's that nigga's name? Uh uh um uh my son, my son. Don't don't talk about oh I ain't gonna say nigga. I'm saying this in front of the world. Pull up there and do something. I'm gonna be there. I have to shoot a podcast. 150 episodes per per year. If you don't, if you don't do nothing, you a bitch. And keep it like that. 
Let's get on. I'm just tired of these niggas acting like, yo, like, they're, they're having me running. Yo, act don't come outside. Nigga, I live in a $2 million crib. Meek say you know my, my address. I'm in a $2 million crib. Nigga, are you dumb? How could you hide in a $2 million crib? This is not like the basement. Are you fucking stupid? Let's get on. CLB on the way. <laughs> or it should be out now. Ooh, uh.